Can you give us a state of your Conservative Party? Good Lord, <laughs> you want a disaster movie? Um, <laughs> I, I can tell you, I can tell you what I think is is happening, and it's by, basically what Bloomberg have been reporting. Um, I think that there will probably be a, a deal uh, between the EU and the UK um, I th on, on withdrawal. Okay, fine, but Lord um, Patton, I don't care about that. Is there going to be a deal between Prime Minister May, Mr. Johnson, and the other eight factions of your Conservative Party? Well, I wish it was mine in, in the sense that it agreed with me, because if it was, we wouldn't be leaving the European Union, which is a, a piece of egregious self-harm. Um, I, I simply don't know. Um, these people are ideologues. Um, they, they combine um, the most sort of numbskull -skull, um, nativism with some pretty bizarre views about the role that Britain could play in the world. Um, I think, I hope, We'll uh, come off with a deal which put us, puts us in more in, a, in the position of Norway um, than Canada. The idea that Canada is the solution to the UK's problems um, or a deal like Ukraine, um, those are both crazy notions. So I hope we'll, we'll get something like Norway, which will leave us worse off than we are now. Um, and with these enthusiastic hardline Brexiteers having to explain to people in the future um, why their taxes have gone up or why their public spending has gone down because Britain isn't growing so fast. So it's, it's a pretty awful situation and it's all because of the extent to which the Conservative Party has been consumed by this issue over the years, by this notion that we can defend a sort of 19th century concept of sovereignty, which nobody can.